Welcome to the channel. This is a short retelling of a movie called, White as Snow. At the beginning of the movie we are told about a girl named Claire. After the death of her father, a hotel business owner, Claire is left with her stepmother who inherited all of her father's business. The girl goes for a run in the early morning, but suddenly she is kidnapped. The criminal pushes the girl into a trunk. Driving along a forest road, the kidnapper tries to avoid a boar that suddenly jumped out on the road and crashes into a tree, thanks to which Claire manages to get out. The girl runs through the woods, but stops not knowing where to go and is overtaken by the kidnapper, pointing a gun at her. She asks Claire to close her eyes, everything happens very quickly, after which a gunshot sounds. Claire wakes up in an unfamiliar house, a man enters the room with breakfast. According to the man named Pierre, he was going to hunt in the woods for boars, but instead found her. He thinks that Claire most likely did something bad, as no one would just try to get rid of her. The girl offers to call the police, but the man who was previously in jail has no desire to contact the police again. Pierre comes back with clothes again, instead of the one Claire was wearing. While the girl was out, Pierre undressed and washed her clothes as well. Once dressed, Claire examines the house, meeting another man, a cellist named Vincent. Listening to the music, the girl falls asleep, but is awakened by Francois, Pierre's twin brother. They differ only in the fact that Francois has a severe stutter, unlike his brother. Pierre asks the girl to leave the house, because those who are looking for her will get to their house. The girl tries to persuade Pierre to stay here. Otherwise why he rescued her and now kicks her out of the house, he agrees, but then yells, for which he gets a kick from the girl. Pierre grabs her but then lets her go. Returning, the guy kisses the girl, which Claire does not resist. In the morning Claire leaves the house and meets Vincent and his dog, the twins are at the sawmill, and the girl does not want to stay in the house alone, so she goes with the man to the vet. On the way back Vincent suggests the girl to stop at a diner. There Claire tells him that in her childhood she was fond of violin, but after the accident, in which her mother died, the girl abandoned it. After returning home Vincent gives the girl a violin, she must continue playing. At that moment Pierre appears. He is not happy that Claire traveled with Vincent, as now the whole town knows that the girl lives in their house, which means the chance that she will be found. In the morning, looking out the window of her room, Claire notices Pierre chopping wood. Approaching her, Pierre starts kissing the girl, after which they make love. Late at night, lying in her bed, Claire hears the sound of television. The girl gets down and sits on the couch next to Pierre, starting to stroke his leg with her foot. After love, the boy, stammering, says that he is very thirsty, which makes Claire realize that it was not Pierre at all, but his twin brother Francois. He realizes that he shouldn't have done it, but he just couldn't resist, which makes the girl smile. The next day, not wanting to sit idle, Claire gets a job at a local diner. The girl returns home and tries to call her stepmother, but as soon as she says her name, she immediately hangs up. Events return to a week earlier. Claire's stepmother named Maude watches from the window as her lover named Bernard helps pick up a towel that Claire dropped. When the man comes up to Maude's room, the woman suggests that they no longer need to hide their connection from others, since her husband is no longer alive. But they need to pause in their relationship, as their feelings have faded a bit, Bernard agrees, and when Maude comes out, he calls Claire and confesses his love to the girl which is heard by Maude, lurking in the next room. The woman is jealous of her lover and wants to get rid of her adopted daughter. After a while, the couple dines at a restaurant. Bernard wonders where Claire has disappeared. He has not seen her for several days. Moth calms him down and explains that this is not the first time the girl has disappeared for several days before. At that moment the woman's phone rings, it's Claire. Maude immediately turns off the phone. In the diner, where Claire got a job, all the customers pay attention to the girl. The local librarian named Charles, whom Claire met when she went to the vet with Vincent, brought his son Clyman to meet the girl. The veterinarian himself keeps up with the others, giving Claire signs of attention. He invites the girl to go to a club in the evening, where a man starts hitting on Claire. Sam can't stand up for the girl and Clayman does. On the way home, Claire says that she thought Sam was strong and he turned out to be weak, but she likes that. Pulling over to the side of the road, the vet stops the car and asks the girl to repeat those words again. Claire pronounces that she likes Sam and touches his arm, then sits on top of him. The couple is watched by a crowd of squirrels. In the morning, Maude arrives in town. 
Noticing Claire, she goes into the library, where she meets Charles. He admires the woman's beauty. Charles advises Maud to look in the temple, where there are guest rooms where she can stay for a while. After meeting the pastor, Maud tells him about her stepdaughter, who disappeared a few days ago. It is possible that she may have settled in their town. Recognizing the name, the parson informs her that he knows the girl. Maud asks her not to say anything to anyone, otherwise Claire will run away again. According to the woman, the girl ran away because of lack of attention. The pastor offers to be a mediator and arrange a truce between the girl and her stepmother. In the morning on a jog, Claire is joined by Clayman. The guy is cute to the girl, like many other men. Clayman is very shy, but still a guy. While trying to hug the girl, he falls to the ground. After getting up, Clayman rushes to run away. Claire goes to the temple where she tells the pastor about her love affair with several men. According to the pastor, it's all the local mountains that awaken the blood. The pastor takes Claire to her stepmother to make a truce. Upon seeing her stepmother, Claire throws herself into her arms. According to Maud, she managed to find the girl thanks to the fact that Claire called her, but the connection was suddenly cut off. After telling her stepmother the details of that day, Claire wants to stay in this city, where she has made a lot of new friends. Maud does not mind, she will also stay here for a few days and will try to persuade Claire to return home. The girl needs to go to work, and Maud offers her a ride to the town. On the way, Maud stops unexpectedly at the edge of a cliff under the guise of having a flat tire. Stepmother asks Claire to see what's wrong with the tire, sneaking up to throw the girl off the cliff, but Pastor, who has arrived, thwarts her plan. Finding out that everything is in order, the man goes on, as the plan was thwarted because of an unnecessary witness, Maud takes Claire to the town, suggesting to meet on the next weekend. At the diner, the girl is approached by Charles. According to him, his son Clyman closed from him, all sorts of snapping and does not want to talk to him. Therefore, Charles asks Claire to come in and talk to the guy to stop behaving like this towards his father. She will definitely listen to him because he really likes the girl. After work, Claire visits Clayman and tells the guy that she loves him, after which she kisses him. The girl tells Charles it's all right. Sunday comes, Claire and her stepmother go on a picnic. Maud holds out to the girl an apple full of poison. Only Claire is about to take a bite as Clayman appears. The girl invites the guy to join them and holds out the apple to him. Maud grabs the fruit, saying that she does not know this guy at all. Clyman apologizes and leaves, and Claire, putting down the apple, goes after the guy, with whom she later makes love like with other guys. As night falls, Maud arrives in the town where a dance is going on. Watching Claire dancing with one and another, the stepmother orders two glasses of wine, into one of which she again adds poison. But failure awaits her again. Standing in her way is Clyman, who accidentally knocks one of the glasses out of the woman's hands. Clayman tells her he did it on purpose. Claire's stepmother has a kind of cold look in her eyes. Maud brings her stepdaughter a drink and then starts jerking her around to make Claire feel bad, after which she puts the girl in the car under the guise that she's going to drive her home. Maud admits that she has only been in love once in her life, but Claire stole that love from her as well, after which she opens the doors and pushes the girl out of the car. Stopping, Maud walks to the edge of the cliff. After making sure the girl doesn't move, Maud drives off. The stepmother stops by the temple to place a candle, but accidentally sets herself on fire. Claire manages to survive, she lies in a hospital bed. Seven men who love her stand next to her, each in turn approaches the girl and kisses her, after which Claire comes to her senses. This is where the movie ends. I recommend watching other retellings on this channel.